This past year has seen major advancements in the field of robotics, from robots that can do parkour to tiny ones that can float around in our bloodstreams. But they're not the only things causing breakthroughs in the science community. Joining me to round out her top stories of the year is Canada Research Chair at the University of Guelph, Merit Turetsky. Merit, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. So there was an interesting study that was published this year that dealt with how the bodies of mothers uh, don't reject a fetus, are able to accommodate DNA that is not their own. And it's pretty cool. Yeah, so many health breakthroughs for this year. And this one deals with a really important paradox of pregnancy, which is how can the immune system of a healthy mother accept a fetus that, of course, also carries the father's DNA? Well, it turns out that the cells of moms and fetuses learn to cooperate right away with the fetus producing chemicals that actually convince the mom's system to relax its immunity. So in addition to health studies like this, science is also reflecting on the role of women doing science. And we have a lot to celebrate this year. We have a female being appointed as Canada's first chief scientist, uh, Dr. Mona Namer, And we have women actually dominating all of our science ministries. And this year, the Nobel Prize in Physics awarded to a Canadian, Dr. Donna Strickland. So lots of breakthroughs, lots to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Amazing to see the science community not only being led by women, but also actually studying That's women. Right. So that is something to be celebrated. Um, you could say that when we talk about medical news, we're also on the cusp of a post-antibiotic world. Um, what do you mean by that, though? Yeah. So this year, scientists discovered new sources of antibiotics in the saliva of of a wild bear in Siberia. So, you know, turning to nature for new sources of medicine. But we also learned some important things about the superbug MRSA. So it turns out that this superbug is such a problem in part because it has an accomplice. It's invaded by a virus that acts sort of like Harry Potter's invisibility cloak. Okay. So it causes MRSA to become invisible to our immune system. So this is a virus that's invaded a bacteria, that's invaded our bodies. It's sort of like a Russian nesting doll or a turducken. Oh my um, gosh. And, you know, it's incredible biology, but this also offers new uh, promising options for treatments beyond traditional antibiotics. Yeah, we gotta learn about it to be able to fight it. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, so we know that we've seen huge advancements in the field of robotics. Yeah. So what has stood out for you? Well, there have been so many fascinating breakthroughs in nanoscale technology this year. Tiny little robots that can swarm like bees, that are shapeshifters, and that even have manufactured muscle. But of course, larger robots, such as those produced by Boston Dynamics, have you know, gone viral this year on social media because, you know, everybody wants uh, a dog like from the Jetsons to open doors for us and to dance for us. But I want to close out with a truly remarkable study. And this is my favorite title of a scientific article for the year, which is can robots assemble an IKEA chair? Ah. Yes, very important <laughs> question. And it turns out that yes, yes they can. And you know, this might seem trivial, but it's really a breakthrough when robots can manipulate objects originally intended and designed for human hands. And when robots can do things that humans can't. <laughs> right, which is IKEA furniture. Merit, thank you so much for being here. Thank you.